I didn't go low enough with the contour, so we're gonna try it again. Blue pigment in my foundation. This will be linked on my Amazon storefront. Sometimes I like to apply my contour around foundation, but she's applying it on top, so we're gonna do that. You all were saying the Fenty contour stick was too orange, so I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild contour stick, and this will be linked on my Amazon storefront. So, the, this is where my cheekbones are, and you said to go lower. So that's lower, and then under like that. I feel like that's too much. I'm gonna try just using the end of the contour stick. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, let's try this again, just the end. Ooh, pretty. Also, you guys were asking how I get my skin so glowy. I use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops, and then I use Flawless Filter. So this side of my face is supposed to give off more of a contoured look, and then I'm gonna use my favorite cream bronzer on this side of my face. This is the LA Girl Concealer. I'm gonna put some on my forehead and my jawbone. Okay, let's blend her out. Go to part two. Comparing contour to bronzing, I'm really curious to see which looks better. But I love how cream bronzing warms up your face. This time I'm gonna show you how it looks before I apply blush and after I apply blush because I feel like there is a little bit of a difference. Oh my god, that just looks so good. I fucking love the LA Girl Concealer. This is side by side. Do you see a difference straight on? And then this is the LA Girl Concealer where I used cream bronzer. And this is the cream contour side where I use the Wet n Wild. You know, I really think it's my face shape. The cream bronzer up here just looks so much better. This, my, like, this is dragging my face down. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and we'll see if there's a difference there. Okay, can you tell the difference from the front or the sides? I like the bronzer side better. 